Hello everyone. In this video we will show you a technique for applying to a surface that has a rounded corner. Many have asked us how to perform this type of application, which does not require cuts on the edge, but will be done by tensioning the film, in order to obtain a single surface, without cuts. Let's see what material we need, the film, which in this case is the model WD044 cedar wood effect, the spatula, the cutter, a measuring tape and a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, a hair dryer could also be fine. When we have a long surface like in this case, one method we can use to make sure we go straight may be what we show you. We turn the film, remove the paper by about 20 to 25 centimeters, fold it in this way, so that when we turn it over we are sure that it is in the correct position. We are going to apply only the first centimeter, going to press with the fingers to fix it, then check again. We repeat the operation if we make a mistake, until the positioning is correct. We have left the margin for this edge and in this application we have left much more margin for the part where the film needs to be tensioned. Then we explain why. With the help of the spatula we normally apply the entire surface proceeding calmly, without haste. An important thing, in our case we have a very smooth surface and therefore with a high degree of adhesion, otherwise you can evaluate the idea of applying our adhesion promoter magnum primer along the edge, in order to increase the adhesive power. What we need to make this kind of corner, a good margin of film and our heat gun. Our films are conformable, i.e. with the help of hot air it is possible to stretch and shape them on slightly curved surfaces. There is a tension limit which in this case Artesive has estimated at about 3 cm. Beyond 3 cm it is advisable to proceed by applying a strip along the edge avoiding tension. Let's see how to do it. First we heat our film well until it softens. It takes patience. Now that the film is heated let's start from the center of the corner. I grab the film with two hands, in this way, and we go to tension it in the central part of the corner. In this way. Then I take up the film, heat it and repeat the operation on the lower edge, trying not to form any creases along the side. Don't worry if wrinkles form under the edge. We proceed to the end of the corner, heating and tensioning the film. Arrived at the corner I proceed with the classic application of the corner and we go to close it. Now let's proceed in the other direction. 
We move forward the same way to the other corner. Once we get to the corner we should always close it with the previous technique. In our case we first complete the bottom and side edges, then proceed as usual, heating and folding the edge. At this point we check that there are no wrinkles and start tensioning the film again, softening it starting from the center of the rounded corner. I try to tension it enough to be able to place it without creases for at least 4 to 5 millimeters. We continue along the edge until we reach the opposite end. Same procedure for the other edge. After the application we move on to the removal of the excess part. We make a cut along the entire perimeter, leaving a margin of about 4 to 5 millimeters. It can be done by hand or with the help of a metal ruler. Et voila! This is the finished result on the first side. Now we also apply the opposite side both for aesthetics and for the functional aspect, in fact the film holds all edges together. This is the final result. Some recommendations, evaluate the type of surface, whether it is necessary to use the primer or not and determine the thickness of the edge to evaluate the feasibility of the application with this method. We hope you found this tutorial useful, as usual we thank you for your attention, see you next time. Bye bye.